It's going down, y'all. Shit crazy. Freddie Winners gonna fuck around and catch a real live case. Y'all watch and see what I'm talking about. Hey, if y'all ain't done it yet, like and subscribe to the channel. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit your notification bell. Hey. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, you feel me? If you believe in yourself, you can do as you do. If you don't believe in yourself, then go and jump in a hole with the rest of the dead folks, you heard me? Goddamn me. But y'all take this out, man. They goddamn me Ashley Merchant doing what the fuck she doing. And she ain't playing, dog. She gonna make sure her client, Roman, get out of this shit. Now, Trump will tell you to pay bull. So then he better do what he do, cause Merchant, she making sure she do what she do. Check this video out though, you know what I mean? Well, today's state senators called on a key defense attorney to share what she knows about the Georgia election interference case and the prosecutors handling it. Members of a Republican-led committee want to know whether Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is trying the case fairly. Recently, in a separate court proceeding, we have heard allegations of improper financial gain and forensic misconduct with a limited scope of evidence. But at the Capitol today, a different set of rules put far more testimony on the table. That's where we find a lot of nice places. Where does this special committee that we heard from fit into all of this? It's a Republican-led investigative committee that has the power to subpoena witnesses, review evidence, and make legislative recommendations, but that's about it. It doesn't have jurisdiction over the ongoing court case or the efforts to remove District Attorney Fonnie Willis. I think it's all just a political quest. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis responding to an hours-long hearing at the Capitol. They can continue on with their games, and I'm going to continue to do the work of the people. The Georgia... That's sad. She's still up here. She's still fucking playing, bro. She's still fucking playing. Hey. <laughs> when you this your dumb ass going down. You better get out while you can. Why is you still carrying this motherfucking lie on when everybody got the receipts? Now you about to get caught up in the financial situation and everybody was like, no, 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 no. Now this shit ain't looking right. The Senate Special Committee on Investigation subpoenaed defense attorney Ashley Merchant, who's asked a judge to disqualify Willis and her team from trying the case against her client, Michael Roman, former President Donald Trump, and several co-defendants. Those are troubling allegations. And so our <laughs> job is to try to get to the bottom of this, prove whether or not it happened, and see if it's in violation of Georgia law. They asked Merchant to walk through the evidence she's produced, like copies of invoices from Wade that she felt were too vague and Look too that high. Shit. That shit. Detailed in your bills, because that's accountability. Cell phone data professional. that appears to place Wade near a condo Willis rented nearly three dozen times the year he was hired. It's geolocation. And text messages between herself and Terrence Bradley, Wade's former law partner and one-time divorce attorney. So I'm asking him, do you think it started before she hired him? You're talking about the affair. Yes, the affair. And what's and his response? His response was Absolutely. <laughs> proof was that Wade began dating in 2019, creating a conflict of interest when he was awarded a contract worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But Willis and Wade say no conflict exists because they began dating in 2022. <laughs> in that case. That's what the law says. That's what the law has always said. And it's kind of embarrassing, quite frankly, that this state is going through this. Boy, you act like you was taking up for goddamn me, Fanny Willis. We'll hear from DA Willis at some point. Now, whether that's at the next hearing in a couple of weeks, we'll just have to wait and find out. All right, Grace, thank you so much for that explanation. Now, if you missed any of today, <sighs> this shit goofy as fuck, man. Y'all stay tuned, bro, because I'm going to keep coming with these videos. I ain't going to let y'all know what's not going on, because I want to know what the fuck is going on. Hey, all my people, my brother, my cousins, down there in the ATL area. Hey, y'all keep your head up, man. Hey, this black lady got every black person down there looking bad. But hey, y'all ain't gotta be bad, cause she fucked up. And Nathan Wayne fucked up too. And, and, and Terry Bradley for being scared and lying and shit, man, gone, bro. Hey, my my guess is I'ma say they gonna get disqualified 
Fanny Willis don't fuck around. Both of them gon' catch some perjury charges, but Fanny, she gon' catch some shit for playing with them people money, man. You can't play with the state money when you was giving money to, 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 to invest in the open unsolved murder cases, and you took that motherfucking money with the rest of the money, you used some of the money for the right purpose that you got the money for, but then you turned around and used the rest of the money for this Trump shit, this Rico shit right here. Come on now. Come on now. So you can do what the fuck you want to do with the rest of the money. No, you can't. And how that shit work? You are professional, lady. You don't even know the rules of the motherfucking game. And guess what? <laughs> They're all laughing at you. Y'all like, subscribe, hit the notification button. And I'm going to keep coming with this. Every time you see me. I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all stay blessed and have a happy hump day.